All right, guys, you might have a Ford Ranger and the oil needle has moved to the bottom where it won't bounce back up. And what happens is there's a little plastic blocker right there where the needle rests on. And once this needle turns on, it hits that blocker so it doesn't go up to the halfway. So you have to get this needle turned back around on the right side of the stopper. Alright, let's see what happens, because the needle, see, as it jumps up in there, let's turn this beeping, turn that beeper off, as it jumps up, it hits that little plastic bar just below the L. So... What we have to do is take a magnet and see if we can get it on the other side of it. So we have one of these little magnets. And it's not quite strong enough to make that move. So you gotta find a stronger one that'll make that move. Now, you don't have much room to work with. So the only magnet I have is one of those magnets that is on the end, you know, for picking up your screws when you drop them on the ground. So that's the only magnet I have at the moment. So as you can see, the magnet is strong enough to move it. But can we get it enough in there? To go all the way around. So that's what we got to do. Alright guys. Alright guys, so rocking it back and forth. Like this. And then it got it over. All the way over. So, take this and rock it back and forth like this. And my magnet has, must have a sweet spot on it. Because one of the edges, I don't remember what edge it was. But one edge was seemed to be stronger than the other. This is just a uh, Harbor Freight. Uh, a Harbor Freight magnet for three four bucks whatever they cost and I I had to detach it from the pole but it is there so now the big thing is let's try it and see if it works so here we go and it goes back up falls back down on so it rests on top of that plastic thing there all right so it did work ladies and gentlemen that's how you do it so thanks for joining me on this special edition of mowers and blowers outdone 
I'm Rich, and we'll see you next time.